Dice Cast. I'm your host, Landon Torres. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, this is the podcast where each week we review a new RPG, a uh, new pen and paper RPG, because I have a crippling addiction. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you don't miss our next couple videos. And also, if you like this video, please consider clicking um, that uh, thumbs up down there. Everyone likes thumbs up. Uh, now for today's subject, we have a great, we, we, we have the great, the great granddaddy of all role-playing games. I wrote that. Um, Dungeons and Dragons. You've probably heard of it at some point. Um, a brief uh, history, history lesson. Uh, Dungeons and Dragons was designed by Gary Gygax and Dave Arneson. And the first edition was published by Tactical Studies Rules in 1974. Since then, it is now published by Hasbro and it's on its fifth edition. Um, my opinion of it, um, it's, I'll just say it, it's my favorite role-playing system. It's, it, it's, it's so convenient. And if there's anything you take from this video is that if you're planning to get into the hobby of playing role-playing games, running role-playing games, you should start with D&D. &D. Um, it's, it's so hard to put into words, but I, obviously did right here um it's simultaneously complex and um balanced and customizable but it's also easy to teach and learn um it's really easy to home rule add your own rules um take other people's um rules that they've made and since it's one of the most pop it's probably the most popular role-playing game in the world there's so much um, resources and so many people um, making things for D&D. That's super easy to get into. Um, just a brief rules description. This is not doing the game justice at all. The, like, you're going to have to watch a video after this video. Like, if you try to play D&D just with these rules right here, you're not going to have a lot of fun. Um, but just the basics of how you roll dice. Um, so each character, when you make a character, um, you have six ability scores, which are six attributes about your character's body and mind that helps them do things. There's wisdom, strength, constitution, dexterity, charisma, and intelligence. Um, these scores, the ability scores determine um, ability modifiers, which are numbers that you either add or subtract from dice rolls. Um, so when you want to do something, um, for an example, if my character said I wanted to go into the woods and find a river, I would roll a d20 and then add whatever ability score would help me do that. In this case, wisdom would. Um, ha how I know it w wisdom is, is because if I told my dungeon master that I, my character wanted to go into the woods, find a river, he would probably say, he or she would probably say, um, roll for survival. Survival is a skill. There are ability scores, there are ability modifiers, which are numbers, adders, subtracting dice rules from your ability scores, and then there are skills. Skills are specific types of actions to, um, that are related to um, one of the six ability scores. So for survival, which includes finding food, finding resources in the wilderness, um, it would be related to wisdom. So if I said my character had a plus two wisdom modifier, um, but then, yeah, if I had a plus two wisdom modifier, I would roll a d20, add a plus two for survival. Then there is also proficient proficiency. So during character creation, um, depending on um, what class and race and background you choose, which I'm not going to be getting into, watch another video again, please. I'm, I'm not good at explaining the rules. Um, 
So d depending on your class, race, and background, um, you can determine whether you're proficient with the SAT. So let's say my character was proficient with survival. I would add plus two because my wisdom modifier, then another plus two because I was proficient with that skill. So when um, how proficiency works then is that you could be, you, you could have a plus two in wisdom and then there could be two different steps, two different skills, survival and something else. I can't remember anything right now. Um, you could be proficient in one skill, not proficient in another. So that means your character could be pretty wise, but they're better at, they, they have more um, uh, wisdom when it comes to surviving in the wilderness. Um, yeah, so proficiency bonus, which is um, if you're proficient with the skill, you add something to your role, plus you um, add something to your role. Um, extra. Um, it starts off as plus two and then it add, and then it gets bigger as it goes on. Um, that's it for my basic rules description, but for the third time, uh, this does not do the game justice. Um, it is not an ex it's, it's not a full rules explanation at all. Um, there are so many resources that you can go to, like I said, that's just the basic basic. Um, how rolling works. Um, now for my for the mini series of this pod, um, I have in this podcast, GMing one two threes. Um, look out for a upcoming um, episode all about um, GMing. By the way, um, these are just three three tips about um, being the game master while you're playing D anD D. Um, first tip, um, with the biggest community of any other role-playing game in the world, there are a lot of resources and people much more qualified than me to give you tips. Um, go find their videos. Um, there are so many people that have been doing this for years. Um, the podcast, um, Dungeon Master's Block, is super helpful. Go look them up. Um, also for D and D, if it's your first time running game, it's an easy, an easy way to start for your sec for, for the second tip. If you're running D and D for your first time, um, an easy way to start is doing, um, adventures session by session. Um, I'll just give an example of a game that I've been running. The characters are making their way through a desert. So by each leg of the journey, they have a different smaller adventure, like a TV show. So at one part, they are fighting a monster. At one part, they're saving a village, stuff like that. Um, that way, it's easier to plan for each session, especially if you don't have a very comprehensive world um, built out. Um, and also... Um, it's easier to, and then later on you can tie in, um, a, a, <laughs> this one's kind of cliche, but like, um, this bad guy was behind all of those bad things you faced b b back later. And, um, I found it kind of keeps, um, players kind of connected with the characters and what they're doing in the story a bit more. Um, also for the third and final tip, um, this is a tip for all um, for GMing all games, not just D and D, it's just roll with the punches. Um, your your plans are gonna get messed up. It's inevitable. Um, whether they get messed up in a tiny way or whether a character runs off to another town you didn't even want them to go to, um, your players are gonna mess up on your mess up your plan. And you need to be ready. Um, it's not a big pressure, but a good thing to do is just work on your improv, work on just making NPCs um, off the top of your head. Um, just um, finding ways to put your characters back on track without making them feel like you're forcing them to do something. Um, 
yeah, but just focus on what your characters would like to do and what um, you all would think would be fun. And that's just a good tip for when you're GMing anything. <sighs> Other than that, I think we're pretty much done for today. So um, if you enjoyed this, um, please consider subscribing and hitting that like button. Also, if you have any questions or suggestions for next episode, for the next couple episodes, um, what kind of systems I should review. Um, also, um, something I didn't probably make clear abundantly in the intro. Um, what you guys can do if you want, you, if you guys kind of want, you can um, suggest like a franchise like Marvel or Star Wars or something like that. I'll probably do Star Wars at some point. And then that's kind of like a challenge. I'm going to call them challenges. If you guys can challenge me to find a certain franchise or a certain type of story, I'll try to find an RPG system and have it with you at, uh, and try to find something for you at some point. Um, but other than that, I think we're done for today. Um, I hope you all have a great day. I'll see you guys next week.